Yes guys, Tommy Roney here bringing you another custom tactics video as per usual the custom tactics king has to provide So guys, that's what I'm doing here. Everyone's been asking me about the 442 and I have got a 442 for you Listen, this is an incredible 442 formation I've not been able to make it work so far and I'll explain to you why in a second I just want to say thank you to everyone that's been joining my streams lately. We are hitting 14 average viewers incredible I've only been streaming for a week. It just shows the way you know this community is building, you know, you guys are incredible. Every single one of you is incredible. Don't let anyone tell you different. Every person that watches these videos supports me. Anyone that just checks it out, not even if they don't subscribe, honestly, you're incredible. But make sure to subscribe, guys. You don't want to miss out on this content. Listen, let's get into it. This is the 442. The second variation. Very important, guys. We have it on balanced. We have it on forward for depth. The reason why we have it on forward for depth, let me explain to you before you call me a rat. Because remember, I don't make red tactics here. Five depth would be a bit too much. Just because the 442 is so difficult to defend with. It really is. It's such a good formation to kind of attack, to press, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to defending, it's a bit of a liability. Because your two sentiments, even your two CDMs in this case, they love to push up. Don't know what it is, it must be something to do with the coding in the, in the game by EA, but they love to push up, so you want to make sure you have a compact in the middle so you can really block out those through balls. And the way you can do that is 4 depth, 4 width. That's not you being a rat, don't let anyone tell you that, that's you being a king, because that's what you are, or a queen, listen, only was allowed to play. Long ball football, because long ball football is currently the most OP method to go and transition an attack. It is absolutely incredible. The way your strikers just move in the long ball uh, tactic is absolutely incredible. What they do is they look for those little spaces in behind. And I know through balls are OP and I'm not here trying to make you into through ball merchants. What I'm trying to say guys is this will allow your, all your players to push up. This will allow you to really start a counter attack where you can really form, you know, good passes, good link up play and then potentially score the goal guys. So long ball football is the one for you. Five width because you actually want to keep it a bit wide on the attack. But not too wide. If you put on something like six width, you're in the mud. And I'll tell you why you're in the mud. Because it's going to be hard for your defense to transition into a four width once again. So five width is very important to kind of stretch out the play and create that ch uh, those chances. But six width would be a bit too much. And four width, for, come on, you don't want to play in a very narrow formation again. Four players in the box. Usually you'd see me saying, oh, five, six, seven even players in the box. But today I'm going to give you a four players in the box formation. And the reason is because, once again, it's so easy to counter against this formation. And that's not me trying to put you off it. Some of you can play incredible in a 4-4-2. I know because I play some. Um, and I think 4 depth is the one. It will allow you to... Count well, 4 depth. 4 players in the box is the one. It will allow you to really counter that counter-attack. That's what... You know, counter the counter-attack. That's what you're doing. Uh, because you are players on the outside of the box. But I also give you an outlet pass to go back in. You'll see in a second why it doesn't make a difference. Whether it's 4 or 5. 2 corners, 2 free kicks. Here we go guys. That's how I line it up. The reason why Ronaldo is on the right. Is because I want him as far away from game as possible. I promised all my other viewers in the stream. I will do Ronaldo whatever it is. Then I check the Ronaldo. It's a flashback Ronaldo. That's 87. And I want to die inside. And I have him now. And I'm stuck with him. So it is what it is. I'm stuck with that Ronaldo. He's not that good. So I want him on the side. Rooney and Firmino makes sense. I don't want them anywhere else. Rashford's a good winger. Desai, Bruno Fernandes. Makes total sense. By the way, guys, if you want a good player, Desai is the one for you. Centre-back, CDM, one of the best I've played. And I've played all the, all the icons. I've played all my Aldini, everything. Desai is the one. Look, guys, two centre-backs. Both will stay back while attacking. Counts will cross the sweeper-keeper on your goalkeeper. Balanced. If you're good at attacking and defending. If you're not Bearing the opposition just completely obliterating you, then that's okay. Keep it on balance. But if you're really kind of like, oh, I don't want, I want to be on the safe side here and just try out the formation, see whatever works, stay back. And remember, guys, this formation is very specific. You gotta have a specific style to really make this work. So give it a go, but don't feel disheartened if it doesn't work for you. Because guess what? I have a 3-5-2, I have a 4-2-3-1, I have incredible formations. So stay back while attacking. I personally play on balance, uh, but that's me. That's just me, guys. Stay back while attacking if you have to play it like that. Desai, he's the middle, he's the CDM, so he's going to be on cover center. Stay back while attacking. I'm sure you know the drill by now. One of your centers is on that, the other one on cover, uh, cover center, and that's it. Balanced. Standard stuff, guys, here. Ronaldo doesn't come back on defense. There's so many pros that I see telling you to come back on defense with your right mid, left mid. It does nothing, especially if you have a right back, left back coming back. Staying back, what I should say. Because. You, there's a limit as to how many players you can have defending. EA actually did that, believe it or not. It's a miracle. Um, 
but yeah, that's the defensive support, guys. In terms of chance creation, you want to make sure they stay wide, but also gain to the box for cross. Stay wide, gain to the box for cross. Very important, guys. Reason for this is because, once again, you want them to be out wide so you can have that outlet pass, but you want them to get into the box because what that will do... Stretch out the opposition right back, left back, allowing you to have that chance inside the box to shoot at the back post uh, or maybe even cross with an RBX or whatever, guys. This, this is OP when you get him into the box for cross, especially post patch right now. Rooney, balanced, Firmino, balanced. And that's it, guys. That's it. That's all you need to know. Make sure to follow me on Twitch. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube. Everyone's always appreciated. Uh, you know. Whatever comments you have, leave them down below for me. I will always help you out. Make sure to check out my Twitter if you really want help with teams and stuff like that. Or my Twitch if I'm live streaming because, um, well, sometimes I'm busy doing that. Uh, in fact, I'm busy doing that daily from 5.30pm UK time. Guys, until next time, peace. I hope you're well.